Yo, 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 guys! What is up? My name is Mr. Ransom. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today I'm going to be playing Perennial Order with my friend uh, Lucas Mayax, no Flechette, whatever the hell he wants his name to be. Uh, Jeff. What did you Uncle say? Uncle Jeff. <laughs> Uncle Je Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Vasto Lorde, Uncle Jeff, you know, whatever he wants. Uh, it is a brand new game that just came out. We tried the demo and it was fucking breathtaking. It reminded me so much of my days when I played uh, Realm of the Mad God Bullet Hells. It's a one hit game. It's also a Souls like in terms of aesthetic. It's a uh, like a plant infested world. It's beautiful. It's this team's first game that they've ever made together and it's almost flawless. I can't even like comprehend how they manage this but there was one artist it listed on the the dev team and he made all this shit it was yeah i don't know as far as listed on their website one artist one animator we're gonna be doing a full series of this uh just to give this game a bit of exposure and just because i think it deserves to be played by more people yeah ready up okay uh, also, so developers are super chill. Honestly, yeah, like no. literally the first message I dropped, I dropped there in just to say like they responded hey, good, in good. less than ten seconds. Yeah, like he was instantly on that. The moment I was like, "Yo, good game," he was like, "Thank you," and like they all just like poured in. They're very excited to see people appreciating their work. Yeah, which is nice. It's a good feeling. I mean, it's instantly peak. You know, when you're playing a demo and you get to the second boss and you have an entire voice chat going off about this. We literally discovered this game less than an hour ago. Yeah, like, it, it is crazy. How long were we even in that demo? Let's see. It was only, like, 40 53 minutes. 53 minutes. Yeah. 53 minutes. And I was in there longer for you because I was screwing around with my settings and stuff. And also, this game can oh. be played on both keyboard and controller. They both work just fine. Yeah, uh, here's the big thing, though. Lucas, There's two of us, and Lucas, I'm the one who's better. <laughs> no, I'm better at bullet hells. You are better at... I play Souls multiple like. bullet hells. Excuse me. I have 4,000 hours in Realm. That's great, buddy. I have played way more bullet hells than you, though. Okay. You have mastered one punch. I have mastered many. I One punch is all I need, man. I am the Red Knight. Oh, no, I'm not. Fuck. I have the best in it. Oh, boy. So here are the wisps. These allow you to dash. This is not a stamina-based game or anything like that. If you don't have these wisps, you can't dash. And currently, we have no attack because our arm is fucking missing. <laughs> But if, if you want to check out our arm, we currently have bone, and that is it. We are not in the best of shape. I don't know why yet, but hey. We did just die, is what I'm thinking, that is. The classic Dark Souls, you are dead and you come back to life thing. Oh, goodness. Yep, so yeah, the right. first time we played this, Enz immediately walked into these spike traps that are coming up and died. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Wait, there's only one for this- oh, nope, there's another one. Oh, fuck! <laughs> You're kidding me, man! We beat every single boss! Look, I'm fine. <laughs> you can't even beat the environment! It's over. We're no. done. No! <laughs> How do you lose to nature? Look, nature's my biggest enemy. I can tell. I don't go outside very often. I can tell. You're translucent, man. You gotta get some Sunny D. How? No. Oh boy, here it is. <laughs> oh god, we're about to- Yep. We're getting sucked off on our arms. Uh, no. This was, like, seeing this the first time, I was just panicking, man. I thought I was dead already. I just realized I thought your, was the helmet, first boss. your helmet is, like, undulating. Yeah, it's like leaves. If you look at the, uh, like, back of it. Hold on. Here we are. The Birchwood Stinger. I kind of wish- Oh yeah, and another weird thing about this game is how you attack. So, there's a little bar that'll pop up it's here. It's a charge attack. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it changes based on different weapons if you get different ones, but... Yeah, Yeah. Uh, as far as we know in the demo, there was no, like, different weapons. So, what, what action do I give this guy? Southern? No, wait, no, like, really, really heavy and dark. I'm not doing that. Do not dispose entry oh. <laughs> I'm not doing that, don't worry. <laughs> I'll just say it. Deny the spores entry to your body. Slowly they will consume you from the inside. We your need... veins will be replaced with roots and your blood will dry. The soil itself will swallow you as your body is twisted slowly until all that remains is a shadow. A mere reminder that something resembling you once lived. We need to have voices for the different characters. Let's eat, like, one at a time, we'll both voice the characters based <laughs> on what we think they'll sound like. I mean, you know exactly what my voice is for this upcoming Oh, guy. God! Yeah, yeah, you, King, get, the, you King, get the first voice. You get the first voice. 
Oh boy. Onward! To victory! Hello! Look at you, fresh out of the gracious womb, yes? <laughs> Our monarch mother has granted us exceptional gifts, fellow knight. You hear her voice too, do you not? Indeed, she speaks to all perennial knights. A terrible beast lurks beyond this hill, arms like tree trunks, the rotting stench. It has ended knights sturdier than you in a single blow. You'll meet a similar fate if you aren't careful. No, I'd win. But first, need to catch my breath. You go on ahead. Once the monster has been dealt with, we can take refuge at the camp just beyond it. The people call us perennial knights. To be guided by our monarch, that magnificent voice. I believe it is our great purpose. She granted me this one loyal wisp, as well as this spear. Just mere fragments of a creator's power, yet I am grateful. What? These gifts will talking? allow us a chance at our noble mission. Hope against the fiends we are destined to pursue. These weapons grafted onto our bodies. Perhaps these were weapons we once mastered in life. It does not matter. Our memories are not important for the task at hand. You and I must remain focused. There is much to be done. Yes, below here there is a small encampment. A humble haven in these treacherous woods. Humans built it on top of the wreckage of whatever stood there before. It would be a wise choice to make allies there. Be wary, I'll catch up soon. Tendril-like growth, stocky branches and large wooden roots often grow on old paths. Many of these aged plants appear to have decayed or mutated and can be broken apart by force. Get me out of here! Alright, time to go to the first boss which you died to. No, no. You got folded like no. a chair. Don't spoil the boss for everyone, he's so pretty! All I said was that the boss was difficult enough to solo you, and that doesn't take much. What are you talking about? Oh, God damn it! Oh! I thought you died. Hello, friend. Oh! Let me Swipe raise my brightness real quick here. There we go. Bonk! Much better. Bonk! Slam a damn wham, thank you, ma'am. Oh god, I got followed. I got greedy and had to get one more poke in. Here we go, baby. You ain't nothing on me, boy. You ain't nothing! Oh, the rain. That's kind of cool. You just noticed it. <laughs> no, I didn't notice it before. Spores, death, decay, I rot. I rot. Finally rest. Thornbloom, our first ability. Your next attack deals bonus damage. Stacks up to three times. Deals 50 bonus damage per stack. So yeah, once you have your little thorn bloom on there, your arm goes spiky mode. Yeah, yeah. Yep. A grave that's been damaged by old conflicts. It's impossible to read what name is carved in. With the several layers of death on the ground, the ability to discern it, who it currently belongs to, is long past. I think it currently belongs to every single person buried there, personally. Oh yes, I, I can't wait to voice this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on in. I'm listening. Oh, here we go. Oh, I knew recruit, eh? <laughs> Snap two attention, straighten your back, eyes level, feet together! <laughs> to think I'm out here risking my life with you, sorry lot! They say living in this camp is a death sentence. We'll all be damned if this bunch sits around waiting to die. Gonna whip you into shape! I am one way or another! You see you with that whimpering cra craven over there? <laughs> I say I get it right! Craven! Craven over there! <laughs> Meet your new training partner! Time to train, mate! 
And now we just beat up on some random guy. Slap, 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 slap. Poor thing. Oh, wait, was there a butterfly over here? Oh, no, just dead homeless people. Oh, Granny! Huh? Wait a minute. Let me just finish up this play page, please. Thank you. Wait, what? These flowing orbs! Wisps! Yes, wisps! I found one! You must be a perennial knight! I've read so much about you, yet I feel so... I know so little. What an honor! What an honor! You're just what I need. You're just what we all need. I'm looking for something, Well, I'm looking for a lot of things. Oh, this is exciting. Do you think you'd be interested in helping me? I mean, in helping me, you'd really be helping yourself. Why am I even asking? Of course you'd help! Uh, hey, hey, are you listening? The overgrowth has been here for ages, but there's really nowhere else to go anymore. It's consuming us all. Just look at me. I didn't always look like this. I'm studying it, learning everything I can about it. I need to stop its spread. Must stop the spread. You're just what I need, and you need me as well. I can help you. Knowledge is power, after all. <laughs> Yeah, let me help you with this notebook. You can record all your findings in this. I believe it's always a good thing to record your thoughts. Helps clear your mind, really gives you a new perspective. So this right here is our war guide. The law, the law. In true Dark Souls fashion, you get your lore by reading item descriptions. There are horrors out there, and that lout won't lower the bridge until they're gone. I know there's something in it in that fort that'll answer so many questions. Find the horrors, bring back something, and then I can tell you more about them. <laughs> I'm glad you showed up. Oh yes. She just jiggled. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh yeah, and then she talks about the uh, arboreal oh, eye. Oh my! Oh my! Could it be? Why yes, an eye from a terror. How large was it? I've heard tales of, of abominations this size of houses stamping everything in sight. True mindless soldiers of the overgrowth. Quite pungent as well, from what I've heard. It's rare to see an eyeball so fresh. I've only seen them when they've long been rotted. A bit safer to see one up close that way. <laughs> Here, I'll write down a passage in your, your your in your notebook from an old journal scrap I found. It's from the f it's from when the first terrors began appearing and wreaking havoc in this area. Nice. Ah, uh, shoot! Here it is. Luminary. Oh, this is our guide. Yep. The forlorn giants were initially sun shunned from human society and forced to create their own tribes and adopt a nomadic lifestyle. They were treated with the same disdain as the monsters of the world. While this initial impression has not faded in all of humankind, <coughs> the giants were asked by many human kingdoms to come back and aid in the war against the forces of the Calamity. <laughs> Dark Souls 3! <laughs> it speaks to the strength of the character that some accepted this. Excuse me, Chieftain, that was mine! You didn't Dark Souls, Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> you told me the story, so I know it now. <laughs> Who's this, this guy? Have we talked to this guy? Yeah, no, we haven't. Ooh. You want to do this guy? You can do him. Oh, why would you wake an old soul like me? Oh, the thing wait. is, you're controlling it, though. Oh, yeah, here we go. What are you supposed to be? You seem rather small for a knight. How long has it been since, uh... Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. I'd much rather be sleeping. You don't interest me much, unless... Um, the only dreams that still plague me are the dreams of war, my missing brothers in arms. This last dream was of a great cavalry knight who I served with. If you could learn anything of his fate, it would ease my nightmares. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait! Have you returned with news? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I said he looked familiar, I didn't mean it. Hmm, the path above or below? I'll be damned, a perennial knight. In the flesh, yeah, what's left of it. I wish to leave this place, knight. If I must die, then let it be away from here. The two paths to the west seem promising, but both have their own perils. 
I barely returned the life from my scouting. Well, yeah, your neck is slit. Also, so yeah, you seem to be bleeding profusely from your chest. I am not one to beg, but this is why you were just it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. What the fuck? Who are you? Who are you to speak like that to me? <laughs> Go on then, the top path or the bottom path. Either one would do. How about off the side? Bitch. <laughs> what the ideal. <laughs> well, fuck you. Let's go down. You should wipe yourself now. Full of discarded clothes, half-eaten food, and built of sturdy wood, as well as heavy leather to isolate the outside. I think you're, it's you, yeah. Yeah. Perhaps left in a hurry, or by someone who discarded any care for material things, indeed. Many attempt to leave the meager safety of campsite to brave the woods. Those who live outside the walls of the impressive Port Holgrove truly live a, a doomed life of misery. Best of luck to those lost souls. Oh no, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is him. Oh, this is the... This is that one, isn't it? Beyond this path. The husk oh, of a knight concealing stolen power. Brother, oh no! <laughs> oh no, here comes Big Steppy. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Walk up to this fight and- oh, Holy shit, is. where are you? The Kluge Meister. We greet you. It is a joyous occasion to meet another bonded pair. We are reminded of a simpler age, but regardless, we do not wish to waste your time. We bonded are more than our lone kin. We are capable of more. We can help you understand this. Death only comes to the bonded ones. Both halves perish. Perhaps you thought yourself helpless as you await regeneration. We are not. Take this vestigial power. Let it flow through your very beings. If one of you should fall, that no longer means your battle is over. Fight with honor, our brethren. We shall meet again. Oh, don't do that. Our, our imprint. Yeah. While dead, activate to perform 25 damage attacks to your teammate. Deals 100 damage if, if the release is at the same time as your teammate's attack. Yeah. Helm of a Slain Knight. It belongs to the Cavalry Division of a Long Forgotten Kingdom. These riders were famed for their skills in running down droves of abominations. They were a key part in civil reconquest of Barrow's Point. Yeah, we didn't go here before. That's just some dude's head. Yeah, this way. Here we go. The path less taken. Although it looked like the right way because of how lit up it was. There we go. Oh my! Whoa! Okay, never mind. Let's go the other way. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Reckoned it hath ended. Torment, endless dull ache. Hear my bloated brain rotting. <laughs> what rotting the fuck? far, far too slow. Why remain? Are thou not another frightened insect? Here merely to flee in disgust of vile visage. Eyes have been eaten by God. Long dead. Felt a presence not alone. Could it truly be? If thou art stranger, please stay a while. Perhaps until slumber cometh again. Can only hope it is for the last time. Oh my. Who are you? Oh, oh my god, it Sounds man. like a whale! <laughs> was once destined for greatness, or perhaps was a nobody. It meant to die in the dirt. Memories are a luxury quickly fading. All of the warm, sunbathed days that might have been have drained away. Oh my god! Remember <laughs> only the sting, the pain of what was done! What happened? After the vicious snow poured down, everyone began to change. Nobles and royalty, safe in their walls of stone, changed the least. Ignition Union in Layer 2. The hard-working folk, sweating, straining, sweating and straining in the fields, never thought it could be such a curse. 
Oh my god. Some became beasts. Others merely grew. That's all. A painful process it was. Did not deserve to be treated as monsters. Were lucid. Still sane. Can't. So that explains what we saw. Yeah. Oh! oh! Self-entitled humans deemed themselves the pure and giants the corrupted. They tore us from their beloved kin. Pleaded and resisted so they could cut off my head. Thrown in here to rot. <laughs> oh, gods was denied even the final rest. Why? Why did the earth itself punish this way? What have we ever done? Felt rotted boar flesh. Before <laughs> into finish, they've been taking pieces. But slowly, how long has it been, stranger? Is the world healed? Is it just this outcast that suffers? What of the pristine forests of Eagle Peak? The thriving kingdoms of a Vagamore? Oh, gods. Stranger, if you are real, please end this. End this torment. Have suffered too long. Oh, yeah, you can kill him. All right, well, let's do it. You want to kill him? He asked for it. Oh, God, I think we got it. Uh, you're welcome. Dude, there are cockroaches everywhere in here. I don't want to be in there anymore. Oh god. The part that soloed you. This didn't kill me. I thought I died for a second. <laughs> if you died as you said that, I would never let you live that down, by the way. God, this arena is very ominous. So that's what the giant... The oh single, god. The single bloody... Wait, why did it... Pan upwards that time. You did that before. It's like the altar looking thingy. Did it? Yeah, and then this is him. Fallen Rider. Here it is. God, the sound when you ever you hit him is just. Whoa! Oh god. Careful. Oh god. Oh, he barely got me. Oh, I'm. And he definitely got you. I didn't even see him start charging his sword swing. God, the sounds, bro. I just can't get over oh the Oh my god, I didn't have time to okay, dodge. First attack. Was it side of you for the damage to go through? Oh, Jesus. He's oh. shield bashed me. What? I didn't even... Okay. Oh, he really? He has more than one. Uh-oh. Oh, then here it is. Oh, Jesus, man. What is this? I'm really nervous. About what's about to yeah. happen to you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. That's how I fantastic. died, man. Oh, no okay. shot! You died for a swing again. <laughs> oh! Oh God! Really? <laughs> oh. oh Jesus! You oh God! No, no you got split in half. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. You just got impaled. Wait, do I? I'm dead! Oh, I'm saying oh Jesus a lot, bro. This game's gonna convert me! <laughs> oh. Okay, that was my fault. Okay. Is oh. it? Oh, no. I didn't have a dash! Yeah, you cannot fully charge up against this guy yet. Most you can do like a one charge. You need like the double dash. Ugh. Oh god. Come on, do something. Oh, boy. Fuck! Oh god. Now I'm solo again, man. No, you're not. I'm right here. Oh, goodness gracious. We haven't even gotten to phase two. I hit him with a full charge attack at the beginning. Oh, there, there we go. There it is, there it is. Can you hit him doing this? No, you can't. Okay, I'm just going to full charge up and get ready to punish him here. Okay, yeah, so you can get a free hit in once Wait, you go try spam attacking, because I think I can spam attack with you. 
It works! Oh god. And he's doing the boomerang. Oh goodness gracious. Yeah, because I do 100 damage every time you you do the spam attack. <laughs> oh my Holy goodness. Holy shit. Be oh, very careful goodness. about the... Uh... Oh, okay, I just did a 200 damage. Oh goodness gracious, man. Get away from me. Get away from me. He's gonna oh, do his fucking weird God, rubber band dude. arm. Be ready for it. Oh. Uh, Yo! Oh, God, dude, I'm telling you! Oh, I'm telling you the swiping thing works just because if I'm dead because of the, I yeah. can get that constant 100 out. He shall not join thy ranks. You are too late. God damn, the way his head just folds over backwards. Hey, welcome back, filler character. Man, fuck you. <laughs> I'm the only- I was your bonkai, shut up. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we got a hilt. This... A hilt? Oh, rider's hilt. Yeah, that's the thing- the Fallen strike! Part. Wait, I have a new move. Yeah, that's the move he gives you, and it sends you flying when you do it. My loyal, loyal scions, you exceed all expectation. Do not laugh at me, that is very rude. Your quest will bring balance to this world. Yeah, you are evil. Out of rot. Oh god, this dude's here. God damn it, you bum. Yeah, there you are. You made quick work of that disgusting creature. When I arrived to assist you, it was already dead. You are impressive indeed. And you're a bum. Our monarch guides us once again. <laughs> There are more fiends in these woods to bury. Just down this path, in fact, I hear there's a powerful old knight. You are late to the party! I am journeying there. I can't fall behind you after all, can I? I must prove my existence otherwise. Well, buddy, you have felt it, haven't you? That rush after our purpose is fulfilled. A raw and exposed instinct. Stray memories from our fallen foes. Yes, we become more complete as we bring them our mercy. I've only taken one for myself. A small, tenacious fiend hiding in the mist. I wonder what a seasoned perennial knight would be capable of. Harnessing the power of innumerable fallen beasts behind them. Our guiding light. The beauty when she speaks is mesmerizing, is it not? This world is so fortunate to have a guardian like her. <laughs> Protecting mankind from the pestilent fiends. They gorged themselves on the plague. It actually made them stronger. It's... Disgusting. <laughs> I don't remember much of my life. But I believe this rebirth is my greatest honor. I intend to make the most of it, to bask in her glory eternally. Wait a second. Stay on the path, friend. Okay. Hey, now, no offense, but we soloed the boss. Hold I on. said soloed. Wait a minute, those paths are connected. One of the paths is clear, then. Good. You've given me at least a different view to rot in front of. What are you waiting for? I have not that could help a thing such as you. You are coping. She is such an ass. Have you returned with news? Sadly. Oh, he managed to escape after all. He even <laughs> spared his steed the pain of succumbing to the spores. Thank you, little knight. It brings me some bittersweet peace to know they are both resting now. In this world, there are many worse outcomes. Oh. When I was your age, even when I served in the Reconquest Wars, I stumbled upon this peculiar fossil. We had been ordered to receive, retrieve such things for your Are you kind. you an archaeologist? Here, I have no use for such a thing. May it oh. serve as thanks for ending the suffering of my fellow knights. Wait, is this one of the, the death if ones? You stay, if you wish to stay and sit a while, I would enjoy the company. It is a rare change of pace. A fully... Oh, that's lame. Military, right? No, Hunt that one's lame. Hunt battles wage to keep those whores at bay. It was your kind to help us at all, was it not? I fear you know not what in store for you, little knight. There was a time I was surrounded by war, my life completely enveloped in it, my mind and body at their end. 
the calamity. We struggled against it for so long. I had to let you go. But that all seems so distant now. And my arm hasn't swung this sword in ages. And that graveyard, what do they call it now? Barrow's Point? A gruesome eternity we spent defending it. And why? What's so special about it? It's just a patch of dirt. The truth is, there was never a need to fight. Struggling's not worth the effort. Resisting fate offers scarce reward. Uh, it truly was just a wet patch of dirt, I remember now. The first time any of us were ordered to go there, they said we needed a vital source of water. Perhaps it made the sense the first time, but what of the second, and the one after that? All too easy for generals to send us in time and time again, even after the graves were practically stacked on each other. Jesus Christ. Our conversation has awakened old memories, little one. I remember now the day I left. Me and three of us knights were left. The cavalry knight that you found ran off, chasing after some unsightly beast. Another one. He was covered in blood and bile. In frustration, or in a daze, he removed his helm. It had been so long since I last saw someone's face. They had ordered us to never remove our helms or armor. But, dear heavens, I never expected it to be so fast. He breathed in so many of them, those dreaded spores. That man was unmade. Eventually his limbs grew until they stretched his skin apart. Something else had begun to wear his face. We had to put him... It, it down. Jesus. Then there were two. It was that day I decided to leave. I had seen enough horrors to last me a lifetime. The remaining knight stayed behind. He was loyal dedicated, and knew no other way of life. Nothing but a fine warrior, I tell you. He wielded a great and towering shield, nearly as big as he was. I wonder if he came to his senses and left that dreaded place. I truly hope he did. Oh okay, God. so mass genocide occurred here. Wow. There's not much to say about me, little knight. I had enough of the horrors of this world and came to sit here. I've sat for a long time. This camp, you know, it wasn't even here when I first sat down. It's interesting to see what transpires when you stop chasing life and let it pass on its own. You know what I realized? We all thought wrong. This overgrowth, this calamity, it wasn't meant to be fought. It was meant to be embraced. Mm. I may be rooted here, but out there is only grief. Why would you want to go anywhere else? It may have twisted my body. <laughs> oh my god! But without it, I would have been long dead. The passing of time would have taken me long, long ago. Why do you still have a mind? I have seen men struggle against it, only to be turned into beasts. I merely sat and embraced it, and in return it gave me long life. A true peace. So, little knight, what say you? Why not pick a spot and have a nice rest with me? Uh, no offense, but, you know, going so soon? Well, you know where I'll be. Oh, well, I suppose it was only a matter of time. When I first arrived at the camp, I passed a peculiar place. A ruined watchtower, perhaps, or an old sunken bastion? In it, I found a shrine and a decayed knight. I dared not disturb him, of course. I'm no fool. <laughs> I did recognize his armor, though. I've studied the wars those elite cavalry fought in. A loyal rider. I wonder how long has been he has been hurled up there with his steed's vigil? <laughs> his mind and body are long gone to the calamity, but it appears a part of him can't move on. I'm sure you did the right thing, judging by the deformed hilt. The strength of corruption has long flowed through his veins. I confess it brings me a speck of sorrow, my friend. His devotion to what he cared for is no different than mine. But I still have my mind and my dedication. My dedication will bear glorious fruit. There's no doubt he would have slaughtered me if he had known I was there. <laughs> Let me give you a passage. I had written about the lonely rider in my personal memoir. Uh -huh. 
A deal is a deal, after all. Oh, Joy, glad you're back. Pardon me. <laughs> I've been so absorbed in this research, we haven't gotten to know each other. Is there anything you want to know? But ah, yes, my studies. It's my life's purpose. I am not sure why, but I feel drawn to the learning everything I can about this calamity. Our land, our history. Catalog what you see in your travels like me. You've probably already seen the moonlit moths. They are wonderful at helping to recall memories, jog your mind, and to spark sense of thoughtfulness. They are drawn to place of, places of significance, so be sure to take note when you see one. This world of ours can be scary, but there are, there is much to learn. I'm certain there are still many other good things to find. To maintain knowledge, it is a noble cause that must that most don't have the strength to keep on striving towards. Orochimaru! But oh yes, oh my yes. If it gives you joy, I say take it. We must have hope. Oh, okay. already ten times better than that other chick who just told me that off myself walking the path. She's like the actual wise granny. Yeah. Of course, I can tell you a bit about myself. Although I may not look like much, I'm actually quite a seasoned traveler. Oh my, yes. You see, I was what they call a yesai. Yes, well. The overgrowth, it changes people. It changes plants, animals, insects, everything. For me, I got lucky. Well, other than this body. But there's worse ways to end up. Much worse. That old man and fucking stuck to a tree. <sighs> I used to be human. I think. Uh, it's been so long I honestly don't remember. Now, however, I'm mostly plant-based. The vast majority of Isai have evolved directly from plants, but some of us used to be human. These spores in the air, this fungus, this mold on the ground, the tendrils growing on everything. It's not exactly healthful, healthy for a normal biological organism. Thankfully, I love it. These spores give me life. As a Isai, they are part of me. But for humans and fauna, the effects aren't exactly ideal. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have to worry. You perennial knights don't appear to be the typical living, breathing life form. That's racist. <laughs> I've only seen some of you up close, but I've learned a fair amount. You don't need food, water, or even sleep. I doubt you even have lungs. Do you mind if I check? <laughs> no? Okay. Well, maybe later. Okay, she's my favorite character so far. Visit me after you've defeated more of those beasts. We still have so much to discuss. I don't know why the real game's loading screens are so much longer than the demos. Because there's less game, maybe? Beyond this path. An unborn coy. So is Mr. Two Heads gonna like gank us again or no? This corner has something. The insectoid race, one of the most impressive examples of the transformative properties of the overgrowth. Previously small meager creatures, they transformed into mighty sentient organized society. Okay, so these are just hive kin. And in the case of some, humans merged with the hive and transformed into something new. How many of these creatures exist? Surely if an entire ant hive was transformed, they could overrun even a large city. I look like I'm orchestrating a play. <laughs> you mean a fucking musical or orchestra? So what's in here? Let's see what their cave of worship has for us. Uh oh. Oh, glorious hive mother. Take us into your glorious womb. Let us be born anew. Let us be beautiful. Not a cult. Oh my god. What happened to him? His arms- Look at, look at his- Look at his hand over here. What do you mean, look what's in front? Is there something over here? No. You sure? There's only a big gaping uh... hole. Okay, let's charge up the thingy. Thorn bloom. Oh god. This boss was hell on earth. I'll first try it. True. Oh god. 
Bugs. Bugs. And bullet hell. I gotta get used to it. We're on good pace so far. This thing's definitely easy. In the arms of oh, okay. I got blown up. Baby. Womp womp. No! Please die, man. Good boy. Come on! Yes! There we go. First try, like I said. Much easier after getting our ass beat by it 50 times. Bullet hell gaming. Wait, 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 wait. Who's standing in the corner down there? Huh? You, bitch! You son of a. Oh, he's unemployed. He's so unemployed, man. I saw. I was wondering how you were so effective. How you came out of every battle unscathed. Our monarch granted you the gift of rebirth. I thought too highly of you. You're just as flawed as me. I will beat you to death with a goddamn pinky toe. But our mother carries you to inevitable victories. The only thing in your way is your own will. Our gifts are unjust. You wanted to me see this? Your hubris doesn't fit a knight of our stature. I must be of use. There is one beast left in these woods. Don't stand in my way. If you do... I will know there is truly no camaraderie between us. Leave me now. Go rest. <coughs> it would do you well to stop pushing me. Damn. What are you waffling about? Oh, there they are. What's up, oh, first no, no, no! What have you done? We could have been free from this world! We could have been perfect! I can't feel them anymore. I can't feel their pain, their death, hollow sacrifices. <laughs> we should have been one. We should have been as one! Hey, Gio. Oh dear, oh dear. Is that what I think it is? That smell? Yep, that slime. Yep. That must be jelly you got from the queen's hive. You really shouldn't be touching that. But wait, if you're back here in one piece. A one piece? You did us all a great favor! If that queen was allowed to mature, the entire area would have been good as gone. Oh yes, as good as gone, we'd all be dead. I don't know if you've noticed, but hives are disgusting and vile problem around here. An adult queen is, well, let's just say, very hard to get rid of. Are you sure it's dead? I remember the Great Eastern Hive from my travels. It used to be one of the largest human kingdoms anywhere around. Human with a question mark. It is written that it was taken over in a mere seven hours. Seven hours! Once you let a hive breed unchecked, well, you can say goodbye to everything. <laughs> We all owe you a debt of gratitude. I'm sure the folks across the bridge will take kindly to this. Oh, come on. Terrifying loss of our lives aside, the insect races are actually quite fascinating. Here you'll probably want more details on the subject. I just remembered I had some old notes of an entomologist friend of mine. What was his name again? Ah, it doesn't matter. Here. Alright, well, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Perennial Nights and uh, Perennial Order. Perennial Order, yeah, Perennial Order. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, peace!